Hi, it's Nick Astor with, at the uh, South by Southwest 2013 conference. I'm here with uh, Melissa O'Mara. You are the chief catalyst of Smart Cities for Schneider Electric. I'm, I'm loving this title. Can you tell us what that means? Well, what it means is I stir the pot. <laughs> and actually what it means is that I bring together different groups of people, both from within Schneider, but also uh, Smart Cities very broad space, requires lots of partners. Uh, different city departments have to come together in order to really make change happen, so you kind of need somebody to bring them together and, and uh, help them get aligned around a real clear common goal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that makes sense. It's a very complicated set of players in this this thing that we're calling smart cities. Right. Can you, can you, you know, I don't know if this is if you can even simplify this or not, but can you at least sort of define to us a little bit about sure. what what smart cities means to you? Yeah, so smart cities is really about um, enabling cities to leverage technology to come together in a way that um, creates cities that are more livable, sustainable, um, and and efficient. Because we really need to address some of these broader challenges that that cities are uh, facing in the world, and more and more people are moving to cities. So. 70% of the world's population will live in cities uh, by 2030, and that's a, that's a huge number. So uh, we really need to help cities, especially if you think about the cities in the U.S., with lots of aging infrastructure to be able to address these, the, the population growth at the same time that we have a, that's going to drive increased energy usage in a time where we really need to bring CO2 emissions down. Mm -hmm. So it's not just energy, but it's also addressing water, all resource usage, and how do you do that in a way that um, bottom line is th that drives economic prosperity for cities, drives citizens into cities, businesses, you know, we want to be, I guess, responsibly prosperous. Mm -hmm. And how does Schneider Electric fit in to this complicated yeah. concept. Well, that's the cool thing. Um, Schneider uh, really touches with our own technology solutions at the infrastructure level, primarily um, the water management space, the traffic and transportation or mobility space, uh, the building space with building management systems and power management systems, uh, security with video security and access control systems. Uh, so we, we cross all these different domains of the city. I'm thinking I, I forgot one. Which one? It's a sustainability, the horizontals of how do you manage data and information across all of these different domains, as well as advanced analytics that you can run both within those domains, like you know advanced analytics on water data or building data, mm -hmm. but also at a higher level. Uh, how do you then begin to tie all of this together across in response to a major event? like a Hurricane Sandy or just, a, you know, the Olympics or something like that. Mm -hmm. So cities, uh, we have a lot of the underlying technology and expertise at an infrastructure level within the cities um, that allow us to uh, really meet at a peer-to-peer -peer relationship with the, our counterparts in the various different departments of the city, but also come up a level mm -hmm. to the mayor and the city manager and say, okay, let's look across this landscape and look ahead to 2030 and, and really imagine and envision what's required. You know, what does the city need to look like, act like, be like, and deliver um, by then? Mm -hmm. And can you give us a few examples? I mean, what are the folks at that sure. kind of level actually looking at? I mean, we mentioned water and energy and, and everything else. I mean, I'm the mayor. What, what do I get? Some kind of dashboard that's displaying data to me and I can make some decisions? I mean, what, you know, in the 20-year in, in horizon, what are the things that I'm going to be able to do that I can't do now that I'm going to need to be uh, looking at? Well, I think it depends on where you live and what things probably are most uh, of a, the biggest concern. So every mayor has already got a, a set of uh, goals that, that they're driving towards. And, uh, and ultimately, they want their city to be to compete on an, an international stage for business and for um, whatever that city's specialty is. And so in some cities, it might be actually that they, they uh, are concerned about water shortages. In other cities, it might be con they might be concerned about safety and security. So I don't know a single uh, mayor or city manager that hasn't at some level expressed in a top two or three priorities that safety mm -hmm. is a priority and security of the citizens. It doesn't matter if it's a smart city, if it's not safe. Um, Education is, is really important because if you're trying to attract business, um, making sure that your, your schools are doing their job, so creating a, an environment where learning can occur 
and it, you know, it's got to be safe, clean, healthy, all of those things. Uh, education is sometimes one of the higher priorities in some schools, mm -hmm. or in some, some cities, I should say. And can you give us, you know, I don't know, one or two examples of, of what's happening right now yeah, that, that, sure. that Schneider's involved yeah. with specifically that are, you know, living out this already, this smart city concept? So I'll touch on some things that people already know about in the press. One of them, because uh, then you can go and read more detail, so mm -hmm. I'll just touch on each one. So one, one is Dallas Integrated Corridor Management Project. So that's a... What's it called? Corridor, you said? Integrated Corridor Management. Okay. So that's all about mobility and, uh, and making sure that people are able to get, people and goods and services are able to get in and out of the city of Dallas on one of the major corridors. Um, without dealing with a lot of traffic and that when there is traffic or there is an accident that it's managed very well so that the side streets the the arterials coming off of that major highway are coordinated with signal timing if they need to divert traffic off because of an accident or because of in order to get emergency mm -hmm. vehicles through so it's a coordination of many different um, agencies it's not just a city of dallas thing at all as a matter of fact the city of dallas is the recipient of a lot of the benefit of it mm -hmm. Um, and we will be looking at, you know, we are looking at how else can we expand that, extend that, making sure it's bringing even more um, value in the city of Dallas, for example. So that's one example. Uh, another example would be City of Boston. We've, we've just, uh, it was just announced that we've won um, an, a, really an enterprise citywide management, um, sustainability management system there. And that is about the dashboard mm -hmm. that you mentioned, having visibility. And this is really, really important because if you're going to take on a strategic project right, at, at a citywide level or a series of projects, an initiative that has a lot of different kinds of projects to meet a set of goals in t 5, 10, or 15 years out, you have to w have a way of tracking how you're doing against those goals over time and giving visibility to progress to both to the internal stakeholders and to the citizens, the external stakeholders. So this um, project in Boston um, is bringing together, uh, bringing in data from hundreds of buildings, uh, traffic um, intersections, uh, the traffic lights. Um, um, the, uh, I'm trying to think of all the different pieces of data that are coming mm -hmm. in, uh, in, information about street lighting, yeah. I believe. So there's all this data that's available, but isn't, uh, it hasn't been accessible in a single pane. Um, so this is uh, a great opportunity, and this was something the city of Boston had done a lot of thinking about, went out to RFP, I think there were over 20 companies initially considered for this, and, and we did win the business, so that's pretty exciting. Well, congratulations, and Melissa, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Great.